Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Now we need to ask ourselves a very important question. Why does Allah mention the story of Harut Marut, the story of Suleiman, the interconnection of Satan and magic in Quran? Why does Allah mention that angels were sent with magic in Quran? And that is the question that we will talk about in this particular discussion. We have so far discussed mentions of Satan in Bible and Quran. We have discussed the historical aspect of this particular verse in which what was happening at the time of Harut Marut, what did Shaitan do with Prophet Suleiman and after the demise and death of Prophet Suleiman. Now we're going to talk about what was the context of revelation of this particular verse, what was happening in Medina at that time. So at the time of the Prophet ﷺ, there was a group in Medina of the Nawasib, the enemies, and the hypocrites from amongst the companions who aligned with the Jews of Medina to form a task force, a focus group with a mission to conspire against the Prophet and against Islam. At that time, the Prophet, peace be upon him, performed many miracles. Unfortunately, the Muslims and the companions hide most of these miracles to today which the Prophet performed at that time. The miracles were performed by both the Prophet ﷺ and his vice regent Imam Ali ﷺ. Imam Ali, by the order of the Prophet, performed a lot of miracles to show that he is truly the real successor of the Prophet. It is not just the khutbah and the sermon on the day of Qadir when he was appointed the leader after the Prophet for the Ummah, there was physical evidence for the successorship of the Imam. He talked to the sun and the moon. He talked to the graves and fought the jinn and many other examples. So this task force of Muslims and Jews between the conspirators and hypocrites amongst the companions and the wrongful Jews gather together to find a solution for these miracles and the signs of Allah being exhibited by Imam Ali alayhi salam. So, so the Jews told them that we have in our books that Solomon was not a prophet, rather a magician. He learned some magic craft and that's why he was able to perform miracles, but they were not really miracles rather cheap magic tricks so we think that your prophet prophet muhammad and his successor ali have learned some of this magic craft magic skills like solomon from satan and that is why they're able to perform this magic in front of you for example dividing the moon into parts shakal kamar calling the trees talking to the sun talking to the moon sitting alive the dead talking to the animals, and many more examples. All these are not miracles, it's just magic from Muhammad and Ali because of what they have learned from the old kind of magic that came down with Harut and Marut, the two angels in Babylon, and they did exactly like Solomon and Suleiman was not a prophet. So they adopted and started spreading this propaganda against the prophet and against Imam Ali. That is why Allah revealed that ayah and followed it with elaboration of what shaitan taught. This was to not only exonerate Suleiman as we talked about in the last podcast and the discussion that happened around what happened after the death of Prophet Suleiman, but also to exonerate the Prophet and Imam Ali If you notice that the ayah is part of Surah Al-Baqarah, which talks about Bani Israel from verse 40 to verse 148. All these ayah continuously talk about Bani Israel and their harmful effects on Islam and how they gave tough time to their own prophets, starting from Musa all the way to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu And this verse, verse 102, came as a part of these verses which are talking about Bani Israel. So therefore, we should go and read the Quran. We will find clearly that Allah mentions the story in the context of talking about Bani Israel and they're plotting against Islam and they are denying the signs, the clear proofs of the authenticity of the prophethood of the Prophet and the vilaya and the successorship of Amir al-Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib salam which is present in their books as one package, but they denied it and they followed Satan as they did 
when they followed Satan during the time of Prophet Suleiman salam. Now at this point, I would like to mention that this particular series of discussion is inspired by my personal discussions with my mentor, my teacher, uh, Dr. Hatim. And I would like to give credit to him for a lot of this research. I also want to highlight that if you're interested, please go back and listen to the, all the episodes for this series, series 13, and some of the episodes from series 12, which talk about the satanic verses and influences. And if you're really interested, continuously please follow this uh, discussion because we're going to, we are sharing every single day a continuation of this discussion and the discussion on the setting setting of goals. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum.